Hi, this is Jimmy from Productive Engineer, and today I'm going to cover how to time track inside of Notion. A lot of times you'll be working in Notion, and you want to track your time, but you don't want to leave the app to start and stop, stop your timers. And there's actually a service called Clockify that I'm going to describe, um, show you how to use in this video, that actually puts a nice little button inside of Notion when you're using it in a web browser. And I'm going to show you how to set up Clockify and how to use the uh, get that button to show up in your Notion pages and to use that button to track your time. So before we get started, if you like this video, please click the like button. It really does help out my channel. If you want to see more videos that I release, I release a ton of videos on Notion and various other um, productivity apps. Uh, please click the subscribe button. As a matter of fact, if you're new to Notion, you really should watch my beginner's guide to Notion video. I start out assuming you know nothing about Notion, and by the end of the video, you'll be able to function and be productive inside of Notion. So I really do recommend that if you're either brand new to Notion or you're just looking to brush up on some of the things that Notion can do for you. And lastly, if you want to be notified when I release a new video, please click the bell. Thanks. Okay, let's get started. As you can see, I have my... Uh, page of the clockify.me that's the service that we're going to be using to do time tracking inside of notion clockify is a great service uh, i use the free plan and it's been working great for me and i would recommend you do the same and if you really like some of the advanced features you can always subscribe but what you want to do is click the sign up button right here click that now i've already signed up so i'm going to click login but the process is basically the same you can either define your email and password here to build an account or you can just use Google if you have a Google account which I think everybody in the world has a Gmail account so I normally just use that so I'll click continue with Google and because I've already logged in using from this browser it knows who I am I'll just click this out and you can see that I have my Clockify window here now now that I have a Clockify account I need to download the Clockify extension uh, for my browser I'm using Chrome so what I'm going to do is I'll just go to Chrome Web Store. I'll just type that in there, chrome.google.com. And then here you can see all the different extensions. I'm just going to type in Clockify. And as you see, Time Tracker, I hit that. It comes up. And this is the one I want, Clockify Time Tracker. You're going to click the Add to Chrome button if you're using Chrome or if whatever, you know, whatever button is there for Firefox or Safari or, what, or um, whatever Microsoft browser you're using. I get a little icon here from Chrome saying, do I want to add this extension? I'm going to click yes. And that extension now gets added. Now, you may have to come up here, in, at least in Chrome, to show it in my bar. I have quite a few um, extensions, probably too many. I'm going to come up here, and I can see that my Clockify was not pinned. So I'm going to click the pin button, and once I do that, you can see that that pin, that the little Clockify icon is right here. So I'm going to click that, and it's going to ask me to log in because you have to log in the, the extension in order for this to work. You click log in with the Google icon there. Select my um, account. I'm going to put my password in. And it's logged me in. And I, the way I can check that is by clicking it again, and it shows my items here. So now let's say now now what you're going to want to do is start working in Notion. So you click on a new tab, Notion.so. I'm already logged in, so it's going to bring me right to where I want to go. And let's say I'm working on this embedding Miro in Notion page, and I want to continue working on it. You should notice right here I have a start timer button that wasn't there before and this allows me to start a timer right from inside of notion so I can click that and as you see it now changes to stop timer so let's say I'm down here and I'm doing you know I'm gonna make a you know heading a random heading and maybe I'm doing a bullet list the first item blah blah Blah. And then let's say I'm done. So hit enter twice and I'm done. I'm done working on this page. I can hit stop timer. 
and go back to Clockify. And as you can see right in here, embedding Miro and Notion, I spent 26 seconds. Um, and it gives me the time when I started and ended of, you know, you know, how it works. So it's very cool because you, because you can, now what you can do is you can be working in Notion, just hit that little timer while you're working on that page, stop it again. And this is good for like, if you have lots of project pages and you, you want a quick and easy way of sort of divvying up how much time I spend on each project. And you know, next thing we can do in here at Clockify is you can come in here and assign this to a project. So I might say like um, Notion Clockify video, All right? Actually, yeah, I got to create a new project for that. Okay, create. And now you can see that's classified with Notion Clockify video. And now, you know, so I can sit there and assign these to various projects. Every time I go in, do that up, and then I can run reports. And I can see I had 26 seconds, I spent 26 seconds on a project. So you might have multiple pages within a project, and now you can just go in and add that content, that, that based on that project label, for lack of a better term, and you're off and running, you can track your projects very good. Um, so I hope this was helpful to you. If you like this video, please click the like button as it really does help out my channel. If you want to see more videos of mine from applications like Notion and Google Docs, Evernote, Todoist, etc. Subscribe to my channel. That's what I do on this channel. And lastly, if you want to be notified when I release new videos, please click the bell. Thanks.